in the book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5. Listen carefully. The Bible says, The thoughts of the diligent tend only to preciousness, but of everyone that is tend only to want. In the book of Psalm 115 verse 14. Psalm 115 verse 14. The Bible says, The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Father, help me to be focused, determined, and diligent to my works. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, help me to be focused, determined, and diligent to my works. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, help me to be focused, determined, and diligent to my works or business. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. A TV series dedicated for dreams, interpretation, and warfare prayers. I'm Evangelist Joshua Oreke, broadcasting from Lagos, Nigeria. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. What are we discussing today? Today's topic is dreams about selling something. Dreams about selling something. You are seeing yourself selling something in the dream. Either you are selling clothes, you are selling shoes, you are selling phones, you are selling jewelries, you are selling so many things in the dream. Each time you have this revelation, you keep wondering the interpretation. By definition, selling is any transaction where a good or service is being exchanged for money. Did you see others or yourself selling goods in the dream? If yes, what are you or what are others selling in the dream? Are you selling clothes, provisions, phones, shoes, house, etc.? Or maybe your type of business is rendering of services to the people. Whichever way might be your dream, selling goods in the dream reflects your effort or desire to meet the need of the people. Selling goods in the dream may also symbolize connection, creativity, project, or gift. Or you can also say talent. If you have a desire to own your own business in the waking life, then you will surely see yourself selling goods or rendering of services in the dream. This dream, however, could denote providing solutions to someone else's needs. Selling something in the dream could also represent prosperity, fruitful efforts. Maybe the dream could be telling you of a profitable opportunities lurking around you. As a child of God, selling requires your creativity, hard work. You must be ready to get people's attentions towards your side, towards your work, towards your business. To see yourself selling something in the dream gives a huge rise in material wealth. It also prepares you for a better or a brighter future in your works or business. If you have a good business idea or plan, this is the best time to shoot it out to someone that can invest on that project. If you are into a business in real life, then seeing yourself selling something means growth, sources and more clients are coming to patronize you. If you know what you are selling in that dream, and you see people buying those things from you, then it means that uh, you will excel and succeed in that business, in that creative works of yours in Jesus' name. Do not look down on your business. Do not despise your small beginning. Keep praying to God, and God Almighty will help you in Jesus' name. Even if you are not in a good location, the Spirit of the Lord will connect the right customers or the right people towards you in Jesus' name. But if you feel no one is buying goods from you, then it means no one is appreciating your good works or recognizing your effort in that business. That could also signify a dead business or sickness, difficulties, lack of growth, quarry or troubles. If customers are not coming towards you to patronize you, it could also indicate struggle with that good result, confusion, depression and rejection. If you are selling something in the working life, may the Lord breathe upon the soul of your business in Jesus' name. May the Lord direct good people towards your business in Jesus' name. By nature, we sell some things for the purpose of maximizing profit. So if you are selling something in the dream, you must put in mind whatever you do. You should always think about gains or profit you will derive from it. If you are selling for someone in the dream, it may indicate troubles, slavery, and evil manipulation or someone is using your destiny. Selling goods in the market should attract both good or bad people. Some will buy your product or why some people will just come and price and go. In the dream world, it means good or bad people will connect to you or will come into your life 
but you need to examine them before you accept them into your life. Otherwise, the bad ones will spoil your plans. God forbid. If you are selling clothes in the dream, then it suggests putting smile on people's face. And this may rake in more money for you because you are making people smile or you are making people happy. If you are selling phone in the dream, it means giving people the power to express themselves better and keep them connected with you or with other people. If you see yourself selling house in a dream, it means a big money will come to you, but you have to work towards it. If you are selling funds in the dream, it means your home is blessed and you will make good progress in life in Jesus' name. If you are selling car in the dream, it warns you of temptation, but if you can overcome that sin or temptation, you will surely see big money coming your way in Jesus' name. If you are selling books in the dream, it foretells upcoming career sources and breakthrough to come. If you are selling drugs in the dream or find, seeing yourself in this pharmacy, it reflects your efforts to put joy to people's life through your service or hard work. Obviously, you are providing solutions to people's problems, bordering issues. Keep on doing your good work and the Lord Almighty will announce you in Jesus' name. Because if you are seeing yourself selling drugs or seeing yourself in the pharmacy, it might bring in more income for you. If you have that flay for going into a drug business, you must pray for God to guide you through. If you are selling honey in the dream, it suggests news of a recovering from a serious illness or unexpected fever leading to healthy affair. If you are selling jewelry in a dream, it denotes greed and theft. Theft cannot bring a financial blessings to you, but it will kill your potentials. Do a business with a good mindset. If you are selling wedding gowns in the dream, then expect marital breakthrough, blessings, peace and happiness are coming to you. Praise the living Jesus. If you are selling eggs in the dream, it means you need to handle some matters or businesses very well because in it, there are everlasting blessings attached to it if only you don't lose focus. If you are selling land in the dream, it means your consistency in business will open more ways for you. Be patient. When your time comes, you will surely be surprised the morning that will follow after. If you are selling fish in the dream, it means barrenness in all areas of your life. But if you can deal with that barrenness, you will surely smile and succeed and be promoted in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. Selling in a shop in a dream foretells good luck, success, and prosperity ahead. But if you are selling goods in a dark market in the dream, it suggests demonic bondage. If you are the only one selling in the market, it suggests that you are possessed with evil spirits. Your life is under the grip of the evil powers. Pray to break that curse or covenant affecting your life. If you are selling food in a dream, it means your good works will attract people to you. People will like to do business with you. People will like to connect themselves to you. You can start to do this business if you love selling foods. In general, when you dream of selling something, you need to know the emotion behind it, what you are selling. However, some people can see themselves selling coffin, selling guns, selling so many negative things. So this can also indicate bad omen for them because it is something that brings fear or threat. May God give us the right business to sell in the right environment in Jesus' name. Instruction, can you read the following Bible verses? Colossians chapter 3 verse 17, Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3, Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5, and Proverbs chapter 22 verse 29. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, every arrow of the wicked, fire against the work of my hands, backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the wicked, fired against the works of my hands, backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my father, promote my work or business to the right people. In the name of Jesus. My father, promote my work and my business to the right people. My father, promote my work and my business to the right people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, every operation of darkness in my business, die in the name of Jesus. Every operation of darkness in my business, die in the name of Jesus. Every operation of darkness in my business, die in Jesus' name. Say, I declare that my business shall flourish after the order of Isaac in the name of Jesus. I declare that my business shall flourish after the order of Isaac in Jesus' name. Take this last prayer point. Say, I decree that no weapon fashioned against my business shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I decree that no weapon fashioned against my business shall prosper in Jesus' name. I pray, as you are selling, seeing yourself selling goods in the dream, 
I pray in the name of Jesus. If you have any business in mind or you are into any business, any kind of business, I pray that business will so high. That business will flourish. That business will prosper. That business will never die. As you are making that effort to establish business, may God give you that power. May God give you that finances to start up that cap to start up that business. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this podcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.